hello hello hi everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to reveal a movie titled kesari the king and it was produced by Ibrahim Miyakini, popularly known as itele itele is, a, is an actor he has appeared in you know so several blockbuster movies he has produced a lot of movies in the past and this kesari was actually produced in I think five years ago, yeah, five years, it was produced five years ago, but it was released on YouTube, so not a bigger platform. So now he has turned a sequel and it was it was released in the cinema last year. I think last year, August. Yeah, so now it just released it on Netflix streaming platform. And guess what? It is number one on Netflix right now. So... I really love the first Kesari, so when this one came out last year, I was really super excited to see what the new storyline and everything, but I was actually really disappointed about the storyline because it was just like the same with the last storyline, which just a little tweak. So if you watch the original Kesari, you would know what I'm actually talking about. So this was, I really expected something different, like a new like storyline, but it's just the same storyline. They just tricky it a little bit, just added like few things into it. It was just the same storyline, but I really, really love this one in particular, but I love the first one better. Um, so I'm going to be talking about the cinematography, the effects, the acting, the cast, the sound, everything that makes a good movie. So I think the movie had, I think over 18 million naira in the cinemas last year, I think. So it really did pretty good in the cinema. So they are on Netflix now, streaming live on Netflix. If you've not seen the movie, go watch it. And if you've seen the movie, let me know what you think in the comment section. You know, let's let's talk, let's chat. So, I'm going to talk about the cinematography. I love the cinematography. I love, you know me now. Yeah, I always talk about cinematography. I love cinema. I love a good movie with good cinematography. Like, if cinematography is not making sense, I don't like it. I like the sound, picture quality. Oh, my God, it was super amazing. I think the most annoying thing that I didn't like is um, Itala's costume. Like, he's the lead character. He's Kesari. And the costume mm -mm, was not given. It was, it was. It looks like a low budget costume, like that. Oh my god, the hair, the dread they gave him was so annoying and so ugly. Like the hair makeup department that did the whole thing. They need a knock on their head, and their costume department needs a knock. It's a no, 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 no. no. Mm, it's a no, no. It's a freaking no. It's a freaking no for me. The hair, the costume for Kesari, the lead actor, was a no no for me. Like, okay, let me just show you a storyline. Kesari is a god. Now, I've lived many years on this head. So, he has reincarnated for like five times. And is a god, is a deity. Um, it was released into this world by um, a man. I don't want to really give a lot um, from the movie, so I want you because I want you guys to go see it and let me know your opinion. So it's like a god. He was so Dele Dele was in the movie. I've forgotten the name of his character. Um, they killed his daughter, so he went to the um, deity, Kesari deity. He wants to avenge avenge his daughter, so. Desire came out from a tree as a deity, so he went to avenge the daughter's death, and then he realized that there are a lot of you know bad people in this world that he just want to avenge the poor people. So he went into the real world. So he left the spirit world and he went into the real world to fight for the masses. So he came into this world as a pure human being. He came to this world. As a pure man being so into the family of an herbalist in Kakoji, the herbalist, so is um his father. So he came into this world, you know, but 
they were like, he's a special child. His mother died, they were giving birth to him. Yeah, so they gave his father do's and don'ts. Don't do this, don't do that, don't do that. Apparently, at the end of the day, he was a mischievous child. So his father was hungry one day and he hit him and then he became, it transformed from that human form into the deity, kissed Harry. And then his father died and then he turned to a real god and then some ham brothers wanted to steal the gold. So immediately they touched the gold, he turned back into Kesari and then he joined them and they started robbing politicians and then giving out the money for to, um, to poor people in need. So it was like a messiah and a thief at the same time. So you know what, I'm just going to stop talking about because I'm going on and on. I'm giving a lot about the movie. So I just want you to guys, want you guys to know the background. So about this story and it was a pretty good story it was just like the former one it was just if you've seen the former one and if you've if not seen the former one go on youtube just type kesari the movie it's there on youtube um go watch the uh, former one so you can really understand what i'm trying to talk about here so the storyline like i said earlier is just the same as the former movie just a little tweak and the acting oh my god i really i think the only acting for me that's not that stood out was Kevin Kidba. I love Kevin Kidba. Like he killed his role. Um, it was Sky. It was also in the former Kesari. And then Femi Adibaye, yes. Femi Adibaye played the officer. Officer Yayi. He also played the officer in the last one. So I think Kevin and uh, um, and Femi Adibaye were the returning cast from the original movie. And then there was like yeah i like i like you know the Emmy's role like it was just fun to see him in a like different role like this role is far far different from his former role so i was really super excited to see him and yeah he did good it was just like i had a little problem with this yoruba it's just why it's not sound see i'm i'm really skeptical about you acting a yoruba movie and you're speaking Yoruba inside the movie, and then your Yoruba is not solid, like it's not making sense. It doesn't make the acting look real, like his Yoruba is still, huh, huh, it's not really sound in Yoruba. And then it was like, I think that threw me off. That threw me off, actually. His Yoruba is not sound. They should have looked for, looked for someone better that can really speak the Yoruba language very well. I don't like the other color, I love his character in this movie, like. He didn't do too much, like the usual John Laddie was in row, perfect, killed as well. I think he did like three scenes or something and then he killed it and then that's it. And Ivan Jagere, I like her, she's, you know, she's, she was good. And then Boma, Boma Big Brother, Big Brother Boma was in Kisari, you know, it's an action film. You, if you watch it, you will see, so I was really, um, I get why Boma is in the movie like I get it and then um, Mr. Macaroni was also there and I, I also like his character and then Latifa did Dimitri yeah it was good it was just normal uh his wife also Mubinkwe was in the movie I feel like they could have used another person for that movie she's playing a prostitute who is also working with Amorvas giving them information she didn't really carry that out let's be very honest I like her but that room mm -mm. Mm -mm, no no, 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 she didn't really carry the role. And then, um, mm, Kemiti, yes, she was, uh, no, no, uh, she's a, she's a, I like her, she's a, she's a gangster, I like it, I like her in the movie. Mm, yes, of course, seeing Kako Yoko, yeah, he killed it, like, he was perfect as he had a laugh slash Kesari's father, so he, he really did a good job, I really like it. And then, yeah, the movie was directed by, he tell himself and um talk about it by him. it was it was great direction i liked the directing one the second thing that i really that was really annoying that i really hated in this movie is the effect the effects and stunts in this movie they were not real they were just they were just uh they were annoying they were annoying me it felt like i was watching all those nonsense in the movie that they would, they would shoot they would now use one hand to now Collect bullets. <laughs> Don't see. You have a, an idea what I'm talking about. So it was very really, really stupid. <laughs> I didn't like it. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to rate this movie a six over ten. I like. 
the dialogue. I like the picture. I like the, you know, the little spice. I like um, Bola Jogumala's role. Like she, she was so some in this role. So thumbs up to her. I like her. I love her. So this movie is a must watch. Go watch it. It was, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It was just those little, little things like Italy's hair, it's makeup, it's, 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 it's costume. They were ugly and low budget. And then the stunt and effects. The VX, FX, the VFX was, was stupid. The effects were stupid. They were stupid. But that's the only thing that I have to say about the movie. The movie is a good watch. So if you've not seen the movie, go to Netflix and watch the movie. So, <laughs> yeah. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Till we see next time. Or till you hear me next time. What am I saying? You're not going to see me. <laughs> Don't mind me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Till next time. Bye-bye.